-hmm. That's right. OK, so what they're asking us to do in this problem is use Pascal's triangle to be able to find the coefficient right, of, our, um, of our term. Now remember, if we have 8 choose 5, that's the same thing as 8 choose 5. Remember, this is our n, and this is our r. And now remember, when we're talking about the binomial expansion, all of our terms can be written in the form of x to the n minus, if we have, if I have a term x minus y to the n, every single one of our terms can be written in this form x to the n minus r times y to the r. All right, so what I want to do is I want to find our term that is going to have a variable or exponents as x to the third, y to the fifth. So that's what I need to find, right? I need to find my terms that are going to have this, um, uh, these powers. So let's go ahead and use the Pascal's triangle and let's create it, all right? Because it says use Pascal's triangle. And I remember I said for the Pascal's triangle, we can create this very kind of quickly if I just keep on adding up our terms. So this would be x to the 0. That's x to the first. And then we have, remember, you add them up. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we'll have 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So this is talking about your uh, expansion degree. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now let's do 5, which is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And then we have 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So that was 6. And then we have 1, 7, 21. 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. So that was 7. And now, so the one we're looking for with the eighth, eighth expansion is going to be 1, 8, 28, um, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, and 1. All right, so that means we're going to have OK, so this is what this represents. Then this line represents our expansion of x minus y to the eighth power. Now remember, when we're going through this, if you remember how we started with the Pascal's triangle, remember that um, the exponents of the x are our first term. They start to decline, right? Or descend, or decline, or decrease. And then the y-coordinates end up increasing, right? So what we can do is if we say, all right, well, if this is x to the 8th, then this would be x to the 7th, x to the 6th, x to the 5th. And what are we looking for anyways? x to the 3rd. So we say x to the 4th, and then this one would be x to the 3rd. Yes? And then if we want to find the y, remember y needs to be to the 5th. Well, remember, there's no y. That's y to the 0 for the first one. So this would be y to the 1st y second, y cubed, y fourth, and y fifth. So now by using Pascal's triangle, I can verify that, yes, that is our correct coefficient. And the coefficient of that is 56. So the answer to this, uh, just for this problem, it just asks you to use the Pascal's triangle. So you don't have to. You don't have to use the Pascal's triangle, but for you know, you should understand how to apply it. There's obviously other ways, like plugging into your calculator, eight choose five, and you can quickly, easily get 56. Rather than have to create the Pascal's triangle, but it asks you to use the Pascal's triangle. Yes. And I showed you guys last class period how to plug that in your calculator.